Hello, chat. How are we? <laughs> are we all well? Come on. Just waiting for Minecraft to load. And then we shall get to cracking. It's dream. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, I love that. On my laptop, let me know that my desktop. But yes, I'm gonna have to try and keep the volume down because it is like half eleven at night right now. For me, so it should be fun. Though we're doing some more region of all because I'm enjoying it and it's quite fun. I also if I remember right I think Dungey and Gooba are on the server as well. Should be fun. If I remember right, I think they are. <laughs> Also, I want to have uh, quickly apologize for lack of streams. They have just been a tad bit busy. And my laptop threw a hissy fit with OBS. So, yes, that was fun. Okay, ooh, this is not where I need to be. Oh, D. Yeah. Gooba and Dungy are still on this ever. So I need to be careful, chats. Because I don't think they know I'm alive. Like, I'm alive. Just need some cards real quick. 69, very funny number. Okay. Drop out the map first. <laughs> Hi Moon! How are you? Are you well? I just need it quickly. Uh, do a bit some tidying up in my inventory because it's still up you're not supposed to see. Also, Moon, how is stream on your end? Because I've been having uh, connection issues for a bit. Is it good? Is it not? Is it shit? Okay, there we go. There. Please let me know how stream is doing. Okay, that's good. I'm glad. Let me know if it gets laggy at any point. Thank you. But yes, we're doing some more regional law, hence the lack of a face cam. Not only that, but it's, it's really late and I am tired. But I want to do law. Uh, yeah, Dungy and Gilba are on C server. Which is fun. <laughs> as far as I'm aware, in regards to law, my ping is shit. Um, I don't think those two know I'm alive. But I want that to be a nice surprise. 
I know infinite knows. And if infinite knows, then infinite's told the vex pyre. Hi, flower. But yes, we also have a bit of a problem. Um, I don't remember. Like, anything. Like, I'm struggling to remember some of the things that have happened. And I don't know why I am forgetting stuff. Like, it's, it's strange, like, why I'm forgetting some things and I don't understand why. From what I can gather from like stringing all my memories together is that I got my wings back from the Vexpire. So I have those back. There's nothing that is connecting me to the Vexpire now. So I could go on about my day with that. But there's something else I'm very concerned of. And it's concerning me deeply. Because number one, I get the feeling I have said something I am not, I have should not have said. I feel like I have done something I probably should not have done. The question is, is I don't remember what I've done. Finn was here. <laughs> and I am worried. That I have done something wrong. The start is you guys are now back and you're very lively. You guys are very lively. But for some strange reason, I, I don't know why, but last time I couldn't hear any of you. Like, you guys were muted of some kind. And I'm worried about that. Oh shoot. Uh, 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 can I get my B right back screen? Yes, I can. Okay, I need to tweak this a bit. It's semi law. So I'm going to be interacting with you. Not only that, um, but for those who don't know, uh, chat, uh, my Twitch chat are canonically the demonic voices of the dead so <laughs> that's what you guys are in law you are canonically the voices of the de dead but but yeah last time last time i had none of you guys like you you were quiet so i get the feeling i I've, I've done something i must have fucked up somewhere <gasps> Oh yeah, flower. I think flower's cool. From the interactions I've had, I think flower's cool. What the fuck? Seriously? There's nothing even in these. Oh my gosh. But yeah. Did I do something last time? I get the feeling I did and I, I can't remember what it is. Like, between me meeting Infinite, I can't really remember much. Did something happen? Did I do something? Oh god, I, I hope I haven't. Like, I remember getting my wings back, I remember the confrontation I had with Infinite, I remember all that, but, oh dear, I hope I haven't. Mm. 
There's information that I don't think it even Emmy knows I, I have. Information that I don't think anyone knows about. And I don't want that uh, getting out. Oh god. Guys, what? What am I going to do? I can't risk letting them out because they will they they, they will wipe the server. Oh, what am I going to do? I can't let them out, but at the same time I give Emmy the warning that if something does happen and I am unresponsive to uh you know, just 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 uh, just do some light stabbing or someone for that matter. <laughs> oh no, a, a wild child has appeared. Leave. Be gone, child. But yeah, I am very worried that I might have done something. Oh, there's winter. I don't know what I might have done, but I'm terrified to find out. I get the feeling that I might have baited the next fire a bit. I don't know with what. <laughs> Infinite joins, I tell him to leave. Winter joins it, Infinite just leaves. Nice, nice, nice. Nice. Oh my god, that child is going to piss me the fuck off. And he's back. Not only that, but that kid's a fucking snitch. Yeah, I said it. Infinite is a snitch. You know, I could have baited him with a lot more juicy information if I wanted to. Like, how I could potentially get him back home. Like, I was more than willing to share my knowledge with him, but, uh, yeah, no, 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 he, he, he didn't, he didn't want that. Apparently he was more concerned in blackmailing me than getting valuable information. <sighs> Can't blame him, though. He's, he's a kid in a world he doesn't understand. He is a, from what I can gather, he is very young in regards to someone like me. You can't find cheese or no? Oh no, I, I, I can't help you find cheese, but I hope you can find cheese. It's okay. I'm sure cheese is waiting for you to find them. But yeah, um, I can't remember anything. The last memory I have was reading those books from Kristen, from Christian and Eli, and I can't remember anything after that. So I think I may have did a massive oopsie. Look at all these baked potatoes. Also, I get the feeling I might have to go into hiding that is elsewhere than the uh, Mushroom Village, and there's a reason for it. I don't trust myself not to do any kind of Mr. Bean and now. So chat, everyone. I'm going to actually have to do something very drastic. If I go on another spree where I can't remember anything, 
I am going to basically like seal myself away somewhere. How are we doing for bone mail? Oh, geez, it's a lot of bone mail. Because between the more people who know I'm alive, the more risk I'm at. Alex knows, Emmy and Cory know, and now Infinite knows. And if Infinite no, now because Infinite knows, he's probably gone and told the entire fucking Vex player that surprise, I'm alive. Everything else I thought I did was just a minor big fucking inconvenience. I don't like that. Guess why I saw something. Is there something up there? I, I don't have blocks, but I'm pretty sure there's something up there. But I am worried, chat. I am so fucking worried. Because if someone finds out that because from what I can gather, Infinite probably has told the Vex player I am alive. And he is a man of science. And some of the things I have told him, he might not genuinely believe. That's okay. We can work with that. My only problem is, is that I left a book for Purr. I don't think they've gotten back to me in regards to that as of yet now. And I am very, very worried about that because if someone finds out, more specifically if Codec find out about with the name that's signed in that book for Purr, I run a very high risk of being of them, of them knowing. Now, don't get me wrong. I don't have beef with Kordak. I have nothing to fight them against. I have no reason to fight them. But they are kind of on a bit of an alliance with the people who hurt me roughly like seven hundred years ago. I'm not standing by that, and I refuse. But yes. Fantastic! Hello! Welcome in, and thank you for the follow. We are doing semi-law on a server called Regionum. Okay, that's done. I think we're just going to do minor things around the commune. I'm glad you found cheese, Moon. I'm glad. But I don't think I can stay here any more. I don't want to put Alex and the rest of the anarchists in danger. What the hell? Oh. Especially given that they don't deserve it. They're just trying to out, out, be out here and exist. We can't, I can't put them in danger. I think this is what Alex was working on when I casually turned up. I think it's an observatory tower. I need a mouse, a mouse pad. Yeah, it is. Oh, it's very pretty up here. Very, very pretty. But yeah. I might actually need to head back to Asvidar. I 
I don't want to, but I might have to. I can't risk putting people in danger, especially people who've done nothing wrong. Hey, 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 what am I gonna do? Yes, Alex said it was okay for me to stay here. But at the same time, I'm worried that if I stay here, I'm going to be dragging... I'm going to be dragging them into a fight that they shouldn't be involved in. Okay, do I have... I have quite a bit of stuff in my under chest. Uh... I could carry something, some things by hand. These are a backup, just in case. Like I said, Emmy, these were given to me a long, 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 long time ago. Noon, go and put your phone on charge, child, please. I think I might leave all my potions and stuff here because if I take them with me number one is going to be a lot of inventory space but number two I get the feeling I'm going to be coming backwards and forwards between everything what do you mean you can't charge your phone child I I'm probably going to bring this with me the history of the Vex Pyre I'm taking that with me oh for definite that that's coming with me Vex isn't getting that back. That's mine now. And all thanks to Kerosene for that. I will leave this place here. It will stay hidden in case I need to come back here. But at the same time, I can't risk putting the village in danger. I have my armor, I have my tools, I have my weapons, uh, uh, um. I have my spare in the chest. Ay, ay, ay. I think we need to go into hiding. I think I need to go back to Azrodal. Mm. Could hide in the archive below the library because no one will the only people who know about that is me Emmy and Corey so I'm less likely to be found down there unless someone actively comes looking for me but I also need to send in no a book to Emmy as well just letting her know that infinite knows that I am um, alive that yeah we already had a backup plan for this i told cory and emmy that if it was ever discovered that i was alive to denounce me from Azrodor completely and make me rogue. That way it saves their skin and it also means that I'm cutting off ties with anyone that might know. But we do need to be careful now.
Okay, you must. Convince everyone that you didn't know, and you must claim that I'm now the that I am now no longer a part of the kingdom. Remember, this is pure safety and for Corey's does. I'll see you when I can and I'm sorry about this. So now this is that allow. We can drop this off because we are heading to Asradar anyway. I don't know when I'll come back to this place. Should I leave a note for Alex? I feel like I should leave a note for Alex. No, I can't do that. I can't drag Alex into this. Because if Bex learns that Alex had a note from me, that can make things worse. But I need to tell Alex. I can't just turn up one day, stay for like a week and then fucking disappear. No. Who the fuck does that? no longer stay with you for not more safety. Thank you for helping me when I needed it. Stay safe. about this. It's called it's best for everyone. Okay. That's done. We have one to Emmy and we have one to Alex. Alex knows that... Alex knew this was temporary. 
Alex knew full well that this was temporary. Maybe one day I will come back. Unless I have to. Oh, and you left again, that's good. Alright, time to get going. Let me drop this. We'll drop it off at Alex's house, less likely to get uh, caught there. It's less likely to get seen, and it's, it's more private for Alex. I mean, Alex is a friend now. I don't just want to up and vanish without stating why. They really have an obsession with the star, with like planets and stuff. It's weird. Where can I put this? Let's put it here. Emmys, we can deliver straight to her home because I know where that is. We can go there in Asvidar. Oh boy. Oh, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? What are we going to do? The only time you guys ever go quiet is when I've blacked out. It's when they're awake that you guys go quiet. I get the feeling that they've been awake and they've made me forget what they do what they did. I can't have that. No way can I have that. That's how people get hurt. Can't I can't risk that. People will get hurt otherwise and oh I don't want that. I can't have that. I don't need any more blood to add to the tally. Okay. Uh, what am I going to do? What are we going to do? Because usually you guys are all very, very loud. Usually there's days when you're not. When you're quite calm and tame. But then there's, there's days when like you are really loud that I can't get all of you to be quiet at once. Like, you're talking about so much stuff and I, I can't, like, think. And people probably think I'm fucking weird for talking to myself. But, hey ho, what can you do? Haha. <sighs> Oh, mango's on. Oh, mango left. <laughs> Are people good? People just keep joining and then leaving. I don't understand it. People are just like, ah, I'm here. No, I'm not. No, I'm gone. I do... If... I ever run into Goober, I want to apologise to them. I didn't mean to cause any harm to Gooba. It just it it just happened. Also Infinite was very, very unsympathetic. 
very unsympathetic. And that didn't sit right with me. Yes, Moon, what's up? What, what, what do you need? Well, how can I help first? God, it's been ages since I've been here. Oh man, I forgot that old Paul was underground. Okay, we need to deliver this letter to Emmy. Yeah, this is the one I left for Asridar. I just left them to like for each of the different factions because I had had to. What is that? Where? What exactly did Emmy do? Ow, Emika. Go on, hydrate, Moon. I'm going to. When I told Emmy to, oh my gosh, Emmy's house is over that way. Jeez, Emmy. I know I I said make it believable, but. Okay, okay, we're, we're not going to get upset over this. Emmy was just doing what I told them to do. She was just doing what I said, but... Oh, God. How many people actually turned up? How many people actually came here? Oh no. I can't even stand us for all. I know I I I brought this upon myself. <laughs> oh god. Okay, okay. It's okay. Okay. Emmy was just doing what you told her to do. Which was to make it believable. And she did. This is the axolotl pond. I forgot we put that in. Okay. It's not safe now. It is not safe anymore for me. The question is, is where do I go? Do I hunker down under the library and stay there in the archive? Probably for the best, but I don't know if I have enough resources? You found a shiny rock. That's interesting. How shiny is the rock? I, I'm eager to know. You have gotten my interest with how with, with shiny rock. Okay, we're here. Thankfully, Emmy has this, this, this nice little mailbox I can use. Ooh, what colour's the rock? You you piqued my interest now. What, what colour's rock? Please, I demand to know the colour of the of the shiny rock. You can't just say you found a shiny rock and then not tell me about it. 
I'm like a magpie. We know this. Okay, first things first is I need to make sure I can survive under the archive for, for, for a good few days. <laughs> so we need food. Thankfully, Asmodor has uh, quite big, what's the word, uh, farms we can use. But yes. Oh, I feel so weird being back. Ugh. Like a dark. Ooh, I, I like blues. Blues are like my second like favorite thing. Goodbye, sir. What's this? That's the one I left for. That's empty. That's the one I left for Cory and Emmy. I hope Emmy was able to like read it well. What is that? What is it and why is it on? They came here for a funeral and they graffitied my library. Wow. Good to know. Good, 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 good. Oh, the no bitches is still here. That's good to say. I give Alex permission to put that there. We need food. I, I, I don't know if souls can eat. I mean, because you all kind of just like hover around me. It, it's weird. <sighs> my old armor, my old sword, old shield, old tools. Ugh. Let's go. I'm not interested in this building anymore. Let's go. Right. I'm not going to bother farming at all because no, I'm I'm not about to do that. Not when we have some very nice storage chests. Don't annoy flower too much, please. Please don't annoy flour too much. We have baked potatoes, right? We do, and we have a lot of them. Good. Good, good. I think the only times I'll have to leave the uh, archive is really for food. I don't think I have enough down there to sustain me. Like, properly, if I was to hypothetically stay down there for like a good few weeks or so. She was tormenting you earlier. Okay, well just don't don't bully each other. Be 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 polite to each other. That that's all I'm gonna say. Okay, right. I need to get in a hiding. Thankfully, the library's still standing. That's good. We need a backup plan. In case anything happens. Okay. Right. We shall set spawn point here just in case anything happens. Yeah, I was right. I have like barely anything down here. 
have a couple of things and that's it. All right. One chat. Because we are going from semi-law chat to hard law. Yes, Noon, what, what, what do you require? Also, how's stream been? Has it been laggy at all? We're going into like proper law now, so okay. Right, I need a plan. I need a plan. As long as I stay down here, well away from everyone, should be fine. Uh, yeah, sure, I can do that for a bit. Oh gosh, I forgot I wrote all these. It, it, it's fine. It's fine. No one, no one will find them. Okay. Right. I don't think there's anything here other than a few spare beds. I don't know why these are here. But... Oh, what are we? What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? Infinite nose. I'm alive. Chances of him telling the Vexpire are increasingly high. That means Vexpire knows. If the Vexpire knows, that means they're going to tell everyone else that I am alive. Will people believe the Vexpire is the bigger question. Will they believe that what the Vexpire is telling them is the truth? Or will they believe it's a lie? Especially given the fact that they showed a fucking prison at a masquerade ball. Like, who does that? Who genuinely does that? I... It's one thing to pull the masquerade with everyone you're supposed to not get along with. It's another thing to have a fucking prison there. No. I've been around for 4,000 years. In those 4,000 years, never have I ever met someone like Vex. Vex was trying to make people like them and that's understandable, that's respectable but there's something off about that how before the masquerade it felt so forced like they, they were demanding that we become friends. Not only that, but genuinely in the way that they acted as well, came in demanding that everyone becomes a part of the Vexpire. Not gonna stand for that. But then we also have a bit of a problem. That I am having blackout episodes. I only ever have blackout episodes when they are active, when they're awake. Ah, 
I can't have that. Okay, okay, we need to formulate a plan. We need to formulate a plan because I can't keep adding souls to the list. I can't keep doing it. I can't keep having more of you haunt me. And that's not to say that all of you are bad. All of you are bad. Some of you are fine. It's just when you get it aloud, you get a bit of cr you get a bit crazy. But I, I can't afford to take in the souls of friends. Because if Alex dies, or Kari dies, or Emmy dies, or anyone dies and it's, it's permanent, that's on my head. Those souls will haunt me. We can't have that. Oh, you, sir. Just gonna get you out. I don't know why this is like amethyst bit here. Oh no, I broke it. It just is. I also broke it. I'll f I'll, I'll fix it later. But there's a lot of things I can't have now. It was very risky just letting Alex know that I was even alive. That I was even existing. That was risky. And I can't allow it to happen again. Because if it happens again, it's just going to get worse. Because for every person that knows I'm alive, the more risk they, the more in danger they are of their souls becoming attached to me. And I can't have that. So I need to make a plan of how I'm going to prevent that. So let's go over what we know and all that. Infinite is aware I'm alive. He has told the Vex Pyre, most likely. Again, I was more than willing to offer him information about how he could have got home. But he refused to take it on the grounds that blackmailing me is more funny. It's more fun to blackmail and manipulate and get, you know, someone who has a lot of experience with uh, stabbing people on the wrong side. Wait. Like, you wouldn't do that. If the Vex pioneers, then they're going to tell everyone. This means I need to go rogue. But I can't risk going rogue because I'm suffering from blackouts again. And I know who it is. I thought that they wouldn't, that I could keep them under control, that I could prevent them from harming people. I guess I'm mistaken. Yeah. But I need to think 
about how I can help everyone. I need ways around that. I can't risk them getting free. If they get free, then there's going to be no one left alive. Anyone they don't see as an ally, as a friend, or will be gone. And I, I can't risk that. I can't risk anyone getting harmed because they will they, they will be more than happy to take Vex's head. They will be delighted to do it. I know they would be. I can't risk that. But how do I protect everyone from it? How do I protect Alex, Emmy, Corey and everyone who I deeply care about from myself? The logical answer is I lock myself away. But I can't do that. I can't go out into the wilds either because I run the risk of getting found. But I can't stay in one place for too long because I also run the risk of getting found. I'm stuck. I can't run the risk of getting out, of them getting out. Because I know what they'll do. And I don't want to leave Bloodstain on, on this world. They've done it before and they'll do it again. If what I'm thinking is correct. If the Vexpire is planning a war, then it's going to end horribly. I can't risk them getting out because they will slaw everyone who isn't a friend. That means infinite, that means winter, chaos, fin, vex, that means dungeon, gooba, purr, mango, that means Juno as well, Juno will be on the target list. There will be very few people who would actually be left, up, left alive. I can't risk that. But at the same time, I need to be careful. <sighs> they are the part of me that kills. They are the part of me that will destroy. 
I've kept them locked away since the last time Asbredor and the Vexpire had a conflict, which was 700 years ago. If they get out, they will take everyone with them. They will definitely go for Vex's head, and I don't want that. If they go for Vex, then you can kiss anything else goodbye, because it's going to end very, 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 very horribly. And I don't want that. But at the same time, I need to be prepared. I can't just be a pacifist for the rest of my life. But at the same time, I, I need to be responsible for what they do. gonna do? What am I going to do? I can't risk anyone getting harmed. I can't risk adding more to the ledger. Because so I'm, I'm already in deep with death as it is. Any time I kill someone, they get added to the list. And it's another one on the list, and then it's another one, and then it's another one, and it, it starts tallying up. And it gets to the point where I, I can't do anything about it. Like I told Emmy, I can't die until that final life is saved. And that can take years. That can take thousands of years. These blueberries are growing nicely. But I guess we just we need to be prepared for that. I need to be prepared for that. So, what are we going to do from here, from this point forward? We're going to start fighting back. But I know there's going to be times where I'm not going to be able to hear any of you. And that includes the voices of the living. That includes Alex, that includes Kari, that includes literally everyone. When they are awake, the chances of recovering me back 100% are very slim. And I want everyone to know that it won't be easy to drag me back out once they're active and they're awake. They will kill, regardless of who gets involved. They don't give a shit. They will take a life if they have to. I'm going to gather food. I want to make sure I have plenty. Because I'm going to be in that archive for quite a while. I left a note for Alex. If Alex wants to come find me, they will. But I can't. I can't stay in the open anymore. If I stay in the open, I'm going to get caught. I'm going to 
I need plenty of food. Thankfully, we have a lot from the farms. Oh, poor Peep. Peep saw this. They would be so upset. Okay, what else can I take? That's all the honey and the honeycomb. Bread. We can take some bread. The thing as well is about staying under the library and the archive is no one will know I'm there. They will automatically assume that I would be hidden in Asperdor somewhere, but they're not going to know where I am. Unless they actively come looking for me. In that case, I will reveal myself. But until someone actively wants to come and find me, they are not going to find me. And I made it that way. Okay, we'll take some leather in case I need it for books. Don't think I have much down there. The fish are coming with me, I can make them into portions. Okay. I think that's everything I need. I get the feeling that the archive's going to play a massive part in what's going to happen. I don't know what part it's going to play. But like Emmy says, I know more about this world than anyone. I know so much. Hell, I... Fuck's sake, I was here when half these factions were like in their infancy. I was there when like most of these factions were probably even being constructed or even thought about. And that's a weird thought to think. Is it not? Yo, wool. Okay, I'll put them on. We can put the mutton in here. Keep it all good together. It is quite this thing to think. It did have food down here. Ah oh, well, we have we now have more food, guys. We have plenty more food. Just don't go ravenous on it. That's all I'm going to say. I I don't know if. Shut myself. I don't know if spirits can get hungry, but eh, we have plenty of food now. Again, I I don't know if souls can get hungry. Eh, I guess we'll find out. Oh boy. Well, we'll find out. Where can I put this wheat and this bread and this sugar and fish? I could take the mutton out. And these berries. And this egg. And like, put these in here. There we go. Put the fish in here. There's an Andy boy. I can hear him. I can hear the Andy man. There we go. And put these swords in here. I am a very organized individual, I would say. Egg can go there. I'll put the berries here for now. 
Oh, all right. We're going to be okay. We we can do this. We can do this. I just don't know how we're going to do this. I don't know about you guys, but I'm 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 starting to feel a little boozy. I I think I might lay down for a bit. I I don't know why I'm feeling a little uh, woozy. I'm I'm gonna let down chat. Yeah, my can you guys keep watch over me for a bit? You guys mean a lot. Well, well, well. It feels good to be back. Let's see what damage I can do now that I'm awake again. <laughs> Okie duck chat. How are we all feeling? Are we all well? I'm not going to end for a bit. We're going to have a bit of a talk, a bit of a chat. A chatteroony. Because Moon requested that we have a bit of a chat after law and we are going to do that. For years. Did you guys enjoy law? Those of you who are still in chat, did did we enjoy law? I also need to send a quick uh, message to Vexaruni. I, I'm I'm going to leave this on a on a black screen for now because we're we're not ending, but at the same time, uh, I'm still on. Oh, my God, I'm still on. Yeah, I want to apologize for constantly checking. Um, uh, like constantly like tabbing. I didn't mean to. But yes. What did we think? Did, did we all enjoy the law? Mm -mm -mm. I know how we can read. We we can read Emmy because I think uh, 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 is Emmy still singing? I don't think so. I know Emmy was trying to do a subathon. We'll find someone to read in a bit. But how are we how how are we feeling, chat? Did we all enjoy the the all? Or are you guys just chilling? Yeah. Yeah, I think we're just vibing now. I don't know what uh, Mango is doing on the server. But yeah. Reset the uh, despawn point. Which is uh, a good. But yes. Also, I am excited because um, Regi Onum officially has its own wiki page. We're, we're getting official, guys. We have our own wiki page. Yes, the wonderful uh, Sushi, who is very, very canon. 
Um, yeah, we, we've kind of made last bit of flowers for fun was a bit of a uh oh moment. Yeah! Yeah, yeah. See, the thing with my character is it's kind of like a bit of a split personality thing. It's like, that's how I'm kind of playing it at the moment. But yeah. It's more along the lines of like during the whole thing of it, you're just like, oh, like, this is all right. They seem normal. And this is like, <laughs> psych. <laughs> yeah, I was like planning that from like the start of Stray. I was just like, how do I make my chat go, oh shit. <laughs> I was just like, that's how I'm gonna do it. Okay, so now that we're chilling down from law, few announcements. Uh, the Kingdoms and Empires SMP that is, I believe, getting reset. Just waiting for Mango to give us the go ahead on that, and then I can get back streaming on that. I will be remaking the Moss Pyre. Do not worry. Do not worry. the The Moss Pyre will come back. Don't worry about that chat. Also, if you're not a part of the region, we, we do have a Discord server. Last bit of law was conveyed very nicely. Thank you. Also, yeah, we do have a server for the region of SMP. We do have a Discord for region of so if any of you want to join our view Discord, you are more than welcome to. I know a few people are probably not in there, but you are more than welcome to join. It is our view Discord. Uh, you get notifications whenever one of us is, um, wherever one of the the faction streamers go live. If you want that or not, it's up to you. But it's also a nice way to keep in the loop of everything. It, 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 it's generally a nice place. Uh, place to vibe as well. So if you're interested, feel free to join in. But yeah, the general gist of my character, I'm aware that some people who are new to my channel might not understand the char my character. The general gist of my character is, oh, Mango, you finally followed me, sir. <laughs> well, 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 welcome in, welcome in. My girl's just like, hey, I, yeah, we, we kind of follow each other on region, so yeah, welcome in, good person. Um, the general gist of my character, I've had this idea for a while, is that on the surface level with my character is that they're very kind-hearted, very pacifist, just wants to like be this general nice per person overall and not do anything wrong. But then, like, it's all of a sudden, but, like, on a more, like, deeper level, you're like, oh, no, like, this person's royally, like, messed up in the head. They are fucked up in the head. Uh, my character has major PTSD, um, which generally fucks with their, like, judgment sometimes. Like, for those of you who don't know about the masquerade, it's, like, my character, like, trigger warning uh jumped into lava because of the site of the prison and the thought being thrown in the prison again which uh stems from their first like real memories of being genuinely awake like i and i don't know if they're the infamous sushis and sushis uh here but sushi is our note maker uh, and they are they are a blessing. They're a godsend. They made a wiki for us. <laughs> Region of SMP officially has a wiki. Um, and they're busy trying to like compile all of like the information together, like regarding characters, regarding major events, things like that. Um, which isn't easy because there's like there's like four or five different factions and there's like generally four or five different people within those factions and each of them have like their own like little unique um what's the word have their own like unique law that plays into it as well 
so I'm trying to like do my best to compile all of like the massive um character events that my character goes through into like a YouTube playlist so I can just go to sushi. He is everything I have from like the early part of the server to like now. Um If you if you just want to check that out, that is Regionum playlist. There's also a Kingdoms and Empires SMP playlist as well. Uh, hardcore. I want to jump back into hardcore again, so we might stream that. But all of my vods, if you are worried about missing a stream or anything, all of my vods go to my YouTube, uh, so you can view them at any time. If some of you are like, I really want to like do theories on things you're more than welcome to um i do have a tiktok as well so if you uh want to do fan edits or anything like that i am more than happy with that um if you are uh, because i know like we've started getting a uh in regards to like winter, 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 winter's um, chat is very chaotic in regards to the fact that they get, they, they call winter all kinds of names and it's just a blessing in disguise. But yeah. Oh, it feels good to like de-stress after stream because that was, uh, it, it started off as very light like very light law and then like towards the end it did kind of get a lot heavier a lot deeper and then talking about like this other different personality that my character kind of has it's kind of like a you have a genocidal maniac and a pacifist sharing a body that's the best way to my character and they don't always agree. Yes, Moon? How can I, well, what can I do for you? If this is about flower stealing cheese, I can't do anything about that. <laughs> I, I really can't do anything about that, about flower stealing cheese. But yeah, my clothes fell off the radiator and they fucking scared me. I shot myself halfway through the chat. Also, canonically, um, in terms of how you guys are perceived in law, um, you guys are kind of like these little floating like balls of energy that kind of like drift around my character. You guys essentially are like the souls of the innocent, just like floating around my character, like yelling things at me or just like asking like really dumb questions so yeah anyway i think i'm gonna head off for the night because it is very very late who can we read who is active let me check uh, Dungey's live playing. Um, yeah, we'll read Dungey. I don't ask dumb things. On occasion, yes. <laughs> but yeah, I think we're going to read our good friend Dungey because Dungey is awesome and we love Dungey. Uh, uh, uh. The problem is, is that his username doesn't line up with like his Discord name, but yeah. It is like 10 to 1 in the morning. Thank you all for coming out to this lot event. I'll probably be streaming again soon. Can't guarantee it'll be a top notch stream, but hey ho, we can manage. But yes, I'm going to send all of you over to Dungey. Be nice, um, behave like you would behave in my chat out of all of you, and I shall see you in our next stream. Bye-bye.